After getting a lot of praise for their thorough investigation into impact of Call of Duty on Xbox Activision merger, UK's CMA decided to block the whole deal over cloud gaming concerns. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are not going to believe this. CMA decided to block the whole Xbox Activision Blizzard King acquisition over cloud gaming concerns. So it's not about Call of Duty anymore. It's all about cloud, ga cloud gaming and future of cloud gaming. So I'm actually looking at their official press release and it says Microsoft slash Activision deal prevented to protect innovation and choice in cloud gaming. The CMA has prevented Microsoft's proposed purchase of Activision over concerns that deal would alter the, the future of the fast growing cloud gaming market, leading to reduced innovation and less choice for UK gamers over the years to come. So this is official guys, uh, CMA decided to block the deal over these cloud concerns. So this is an interesting uh, thing because we all thought that this deal would go through because Microsoft was actually doing quite a lot of um, moves really to accommodate you know, the cloud gaming concerns, right? Like they were allowing Call of Duty and other um, Activision Blizzard games on different uh, streaming platforms and that kind of stuff. But according to CMA, that's not enough. So there's some more actually comments on that. Um, they say Microsoft's solution had significant short shortcomings and would require regulatory oversight by CMA. Panel Chair, Cloud Gaming needs a free competitive market to drive innovation and choice. So yeah, guys, this is it, right? When it comes to that particular decision, um, it's kind of weird because uh, I never thought uh, that I would see this deal blocked over cloud gaming, right? Like. For most people, cloud gaming is not even a thing, really, right? Most people still play on consoles, PCs, mobiles, and that kind of stuff, right? But not many people actually, uh, well, stream games, right? Like, you know, and that's that's a fact. Like, it, this is still a fast-growing market, but I'm not really sure if their concerns are valid because, like, I mean, Sony did actually try to build their um, cloud streaming. I mean, they've got their streaming service and that kind of stuff. So it's not like there's no competition, nothing like that. So either way, like th this is what they said. Um, now, what's interesting is that what's going to happen next, because obviously um, you can actually check like more of the explanation for that uh, for that uh, deal to be blocked, right? And there's they, they talk about cloud gaming concerns, the remedies mm, that were offered and that kind of stuff. Um, they even actually talk about they were considering some potential benefits of the merger and that kind of stuff. So it's actually quite long post and you will find the link to this post in the description of this video below so you can check it yourself. Um, so the real question now is, what's next right is it uh, is it is it over like it doesn't mean that microsoft cannot buy activision blizzard king well that's actually a good question and to be totally honest i'm not 100 percent sure but uh, the thing of the matter is that uh, there's an interesting article on um, uh, bloomberg.com and i will link that article uh, in the description below as well. And there's actually an, a, an official response from Microsoft, from Brad Smith. And so this is actually what he said. We'll remain fully committed to this acquisition and will appeal, Brad Smith, vice chair and president of Microsoft said, the CMA's decision rejects a pragmatic path to address competition concerns and discourages technology innovation and investment in the UK. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's actually quite interesting. Um, 
I don't know, like uh, they all, you know, he also said that CMA's report contradicts the ambitions of the UK to become an attractive country to build technology businesses. An Activision spokesman, a spokesperson said, we will work aggressively with Microsoft to reverse this on appeal. Okay, so here's the deal. Like, I don't know much about the appeal process or anything like that, right? Um, so obviously it looks like they do have a right to appeal, right? Um, now, will, would they change something? Would they offer something more to, uh, you know, during that appeal process to kind of make CMA to change their mind? I have no idea, right? Like, you know, they may actually be forced to, I guess, right? But, um, the, you know, the questions like, when will they appeal? How long that appeal will actually uh, take? Uh, how long, how much time this appeal will take, right? I mean, I don't know. But um, it looks like it may be longer than just a month, right? Like, like I said, I have no um, information on how long that will take. But it looks like the saga will still continue. And this is the interesting thing because like, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you remember, but both New Zealand and European Commission uh, original plan was to, uh, well, reveal their final decision, to make their final decision, um, um, well, really in April too, but they have changed their minds, right? They actually delayed their decisions, both European Commission and New Zealand, right? So I think now European Commission's final decision is supposed to come on 26th of May or something like that. I mean, I mean I'm pretty sure it's May, right? End of May. And New Zealand's final decision is coming on... Uh, well, like June 6th or something like that, right? So like it's like they still got like at least a month, maybe even more um, when it comes to New Zealand. So I'm actually curious if uh, they came to like similar conclusions when it comes to these um, uh, cloud concerns, because there were reports basically saying that European Commission, the only concerns they had uh, were uh, concerns over cloud gaming too, right? Now, whether these concerns were, I guess, strong enough to block that deal, I don't know, like, because we're talking about European Commission. So um, maybe they just gave themselves more time or maybe they basically let Microsoft to know that, hey, we've got these concerns, um, you know, what are you going to do about it? Maybe they, they just gave themselves more time to iron things out be, before blocking the deal. Who knows, right? Um, so maybe Microsoft is, uh, I'm, we all know that Microsoft is still working with European Commission on these cloud, uh, of, uh, cloud concerns. So yeah, like, I don't know, like, you know, <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario is that, um, you know, Microsoft may still purchase the Ac Activision Blizzard, but they nothing would change for UK. So UK would actually, UK customers would not get benefits of these of this acquisition, basically. So Microsoft would have to kind of set up a separate identity, uh, like a company sort of, right? and it would operate in um independently somehow and by the way these are not my words i'm you know i'm just basically quoting well sort of quoting paraphrasing really what uh, hogs law actually said right um about that deal um you know a couple of months ago because obviously when we all had concerns over you know the cma decision and looks like they were valid okay uh, it just they decided to block uh, this deal over some, you know, different concerns that we originally thought they would block it for, right? But listen, <laughs> this deal is just a headache for Microsoft, big, big headache. And obviously a lot of money is involved in this deal and stuff. So obviously it's, it's obvious that Microsoft will not just let go. But um, I think that in the end, if CMA still decide, will still decide to block the deal even after appeal, the only uh, kind of group that will lose are going to be customers, in my opinion, right? Because, um, yeah, like 
if hopefully European Union will actually allow this deal to go through, hopefully Microsoft will win with FTC in court. So like, you know, gamers in, um, in European Union, like Poland, for example, and States and Brazil and all these countries that did approve the deal, we all will hopefully be able to um, enjoy you know all these Activision Blizzard, uh, well, King games, not really, but uh, Activision Blizzard games on Game Pass. And it may be that UK's gamers may not have access to it. That's what that will come down to, really. Like, um, I mean, this is the worst case scenario, in my, in my opinion, but who knows? Like, looks like CMA is... Like, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's quite stubborn when it comes to that particular deal. So, yeah, guys. Um, so anyway, listen, that's the video. That's the news I've got for you today. Um, I'll probably have some updates on that, you know, probably tomorrow uh, on that deal. Uh, what does it mean? What, what the process of appealing is going to be like? I'll let you know later, but uh, for now, I will let you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.